Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to look at a simple way to create falling platforms that you might use in your platformer projects. So put on your cap and novelty mustache. Let's crack on. To create your falling platform, set your platform game object up as you see fit and attach the following components to it. We need a rigid body 2D, the body type of which we're going to change to static as we don't want this to move or have any physics simulations yet. In the script, we will change this body type back to dynamic so gravity can bring it plummeting down. Then we need a box collider 2D and a platform effector 2D. A platform effector 2D allows for collisions one way. We only want the platform to fall when triggered when the player touches the top of it, not any sides of it. So with your platform effector set up, you can see in your box collider, we have used by effector, select the box, and you can now see the area in this arc is where the collisions will be detected. We only want it one way. Feel free to adjust the surface arc if you like, but for this tutorial, 180 is just fine. Then, of course, go ahead, create a falling platform script, attach it to the platform, and open it up. For the variables, we want that rigid body 2D component and a vector 2 default position, which will be the starting position of the platform, which we will use when we come to respawn it. Then we'll have serialized floats, fall delay, and respawn time. When we hit the platform, we don't want it to fall immediately. We will wait a second or two for it to fall. And of course, respawn time is self-explanatory. Then in the start method, let's reference our default position, which will be equal to the transform.position at the start. And of course, we want to get the rigid body 2D component. After that, let's remove void updates and replace it with a void on collision enter 2D, collision 2D, and you can rename this as you like. If other.gameobject.tag is equal to player, so make sure your player objects have the player tag, then we will start a coroutine, which we will call platform drop. To create your coroutine underneath, we will type I enumerator, named platform drop, spelling is important, and coroutines allow us to perform several tasks over a certain amount of time. So when the player hits our falling platform, we want to wait for the fall delay before turning the rigid body type back to dynamic. So we will use yield return new, wait for seconds, your fall delay. After that time is up, we will then perform this action the rb2d.bodyType equals rigid body type 2d.dynamic. Therefore, gravity will bring it down to the ground. Then after another time has elapsed, our respawn time, we want to reset and respawn the platform back into position. So in order to do that, let's create a new method, private void reset. When we reset the platform, we want to return the body type 2D back to static and place the platform back in its original default position. Therefore, the transform.position will equal the default position. Then finally, just call the reset function at the end in the coroutine. So after your respawn time, it'll call upon the reset method. And there we go. Hit save. Let's head back into Unity. First, make sure your player has the appropriate player tag. Then let's double check our falling platform. For rigid body type, let's go back to dynamic and make sure we freeze the rotation on Z and freeze the position on X as we only want it to move along the Y axis. Then go and reset it back to static. For fall delay, I've gone with a value of one and a respawn time of five. Let's duplicate these platforms to create a bridge for little Oakley to run along. And when you're ready, hit play. And now when we walk on the platform, after one second, they drop. 
and after five seconds they should respawn there we go ready to go again excellent as always thank you very much for watching guys i do appreciate you stopping by and checking out our tutorials i really do hope that they've helped you on your projects if you have a suggestion for a tutorial you'd like to see please reach out to us on any of our socials and we'll see you again very soon take care